Hi guys, so this video is all about how to minimize the kitchen. In the past, I have shown you how I minimize my kitchen because I found it really quick and easy to do. But for a lot of families, particularly big families, the kitchen tends to be a bit of a dumping ground, especially if you uh, have a bit of a weakness for infomercials and tend to collect or get given lots of gadgets and gizmos. It really does accumulate without us even realizing it. And before we know it, our drawers and cupboards are overpiling and like overflowing with stuff that we simply do not need and is creating a lot of stress and pressure in our lives but also creating a wasting I should say a lot of time in trying to keep it all clean managed and organized so for this video coming off the back of my previous minim minimization in the kitchen I'm sharing with you my tips as to how to quickly and efficiently downsize declutter minimize the family kitchen so tip number one is to pull absolutely everything out of the kitchen all the drawers all the cupboards everything and lay it all out you need to look at absolutely everything and only put back into the drawers and cupboards what you use on a regular basis so things that are obviously you're going to need like cutlery bowls plates they go straight back in but when you put them back in i want you to think about where they're going don't just automatically put them back into the same drawer or cupboard have a think about it and ask yourself is that the most efficient place for those plates to go Considering that you use these things on a regular basis, they should automatically go to places like you know, homes within your kitchen that are easily and quickly accessible. With everything else that is left out, I want you to take your time, breathe deeply, and look at each and every individual piece. Ask yourself, what is it? Ask yourself, when did you last use it? Ask yourself, are you realistically gonna use this again in the future? Ask yourself, do you have something that does the same thing? Often we find, particularly if I use the example in my previous video, my girlfriend had, I think, about five garlic presses. You only really need one garlic press. So if you find that you're doubling up or tripling up or quadrupling up on the same gadget, pick the best one and let the rest go. I promise you, you're going to be okay. Again, as you go through all these items and get to decide what stays in your kitchen, have a think about where it's going to live. Again, make sure it's really efficient and effective so that you can get to it easily. Ask yourself, is it close to the dishwasher? Is it close to the bench top? Is it close to the microwave or the oven? You wanna make sure you can access it readily and easily because that means you're actually using those gadgets and you're getting the most amount of usage out of those items. Also, when you're putting these things back away, don't just like throw them into the drawer or the cupboard. Neatly place them with intention. Make sure each item has a bit of space between the necks so you're not squashing and jamming things in. With minimization, it's about letting things breathe and stand proudly on their own so they can shine. So if possible, and you've got the space, don't jam everything in. Create a bit of distance between each item and put it down neatly because the more neater your cupboards are, the more inspired you will be to help keep them that way. With everything that remains in your kitchen that hasn't been put back away, it's because it doesn't belong in your kitchen anymore. So you need to have a good long hard think about why you accumulated these things in the first place. You might discover or realize that you have a, say, a bit of a weakness for say infomercials where you tend to buy things on an impulse that you don't really need because someone sold you that they were fabulous and were going to change your life overnight. Or maybe you realize that you got you know, repeated Christmas gifts over and over again. Or maybe you're, you don't simply cook that type of food that requires those particular utensils. Stop and take the time to learn from those mistakes so that you don't repeat history and your kitchen stays in this new, quiet, tranquil, um, free space of minimization. And then the final tip is going forward is to think about when you do buy items, try and buy multifunctional items. Items that don't just do one particular activity, but do multiple activities so that you don't need to buy numerous products of the same type. Remember, the less stuff that's in your kitchen, the more tranquil and calming the energy is going to be. It's also gonna be a lot easier and quicker to find things and maintaining that cleanliness and tidiness and organization is going to be so much easier and you're gonna feel inspired to keep it that way. 
So when you're going through this process, make sure you actually enjoy it. And when you've finished the job of minimizing your kitchen and decluttering, step back, enjoy the peace and tranquility, and you will probably realize that you actually have and own everything that you need. And from that sense of completeness comes a great feeling of peace and serenity, which is one of the many benefits of minimalism. So if you enjoyed this video and feel inspired to go minimize your own kitchen, please share with me your journey and experience. I love hearing from you. So if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. I've got lots more videos coming up on minimization and decluttering and some really exciting fun videos made especially for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, don't forget to share with me your experience and your adventures with minimization and decluttering. It's so invigorating and inspiring for me to hear your own stories. So keep the comments coming and I will see you next week for Money Monday. Ciao for now.